back friends so in last video we um were going to create a uh, demo application to connect to service now instance so what we did in last uh, video was to create a uh, account on service now developers account then created one instance and that instance is running and then we install service now connector in endpoint studio and today we are going to create the application so let's start with that and let's create a mule project okay, please bear with me this machine is a little slow so let's call it service now demo mule PSP. So let's go next next this is all typical mule project creation so there is nothing special about this so once we are done hopefully and uh, so as i said last time you have to take note of these settings here and uh, i will be using these settings now okay so it's still doing something Okay, so we have a project. Let's create one HTTP point so that we will be able to call this API. Let's give this a connector configuration. I'm going to keep it by default 8081. Let's call it that is now demo very intelligently I call that and now let's do let's drag and drop service now connector so as soon as I drop this so now it's going to ask me the connector configuration let's click on that and you can either go advanced or basic so let's select basic configuration and this is a place where we have to enter all those details so i'm going to enter my id and my password okay it's a bit complicated password so just bear with me okay. hopefully i'm not speaking the password so <laughs> so anyway now this address this is the address copy this and paste it here oops my bad okay so we can validate config so this is going to test your configuration taking some time it happens when your internet is slow or your laptop is slow Hopefully for you, it might be working faster than mine. Okay, so our connection is successful. And we do okay. Now we have a valid connection. So now what we have to do is to actually create uh, an instant. So you can select what kind of table you want to uh, use of service now this object so I'm going to create an incident so let me search for incident okay and what I want to do with that incident I want to create a new incident so I'm going to do insert a very simple application very simple operation I should rather say so now this is the configuration. now we have to send some data to this as uh, mule will use uh, this auto sense directly so we I'm going to do drag and drop one um, data weave transform message in front so if i go here it will use auto sense directly with our connector configuration and give us option to transform the message so here you see uh, you're getting everything here and uh, <clears throat> we can uh, either go very easily and um, create some payload from where it will 
take the values so let's do that and let's create a dummy xml and we will be using that xml uh, the adjacent data which comes so it's up to you what kind of data you want to uh, use for that so or you can send uh, directly drag and drop here so let's define a metadata let's add so let's see let's name it input dummy data <coughs> So now you have to choose what kind of uh, input data your uh, API is expecting, either integer, saying, or sorry, uh, simple or uh, uh, XML or JSON or Java, or flat file, fixed file. So it's up to you, whatever you want. You can have a CSV data, which CSV you can get, or so I'm going to create a very simple JSON data. Uh, either you give a schema or you give an example. So you will need a file and uh, we have to create that file first. So let's open Atom. I'm going to create a sample JSON file. Um, we will be sending comments and all. So let's uh, say our JSON file is something like this. So with our JSON object has uh, um, comments. It has value as um, an urgent need of server restart. Hopefully, the spelling are much better than mine. And then we can have something called short description. I will show you where you will be able to see this and how I got these things so let's say my short description is um, server down restart and then and what is the state of this incident so let's call this new and let's save this uh, file save as um not here let me go to my project so my project is where mm, endpoint studio workspace I think I am at wrong place. So it is in any point studio, this one workspace, and this is my project. Let's save it into source main resources and let's name it um, incident sample.json. okay don't do that be waiting okay so my file is saved and if i go in my endpoint studio now i can select that file so source main resources and incident sample.json and select and now here you have a payload I uh, think I made a mistake edit sample data it is doing something wrong close tab and keep file okay so this is happened so this is how we learn I think my payload is showing a string which is wrong so let's clear this metadata and let's define it again I think I made a mix close this and let's actually see the data here oh there is no data. Let me refresh it. Um, refresh. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's try again. 
find my data. These are defined. Let's delete this and let's create again. input data I'm just naming it again I don't remember what I named it first so example uh, come on hopefully it will be working this time no ah okay so it worked I have I don't know why it was not working before so now we have a JSON payload here so we can directly um, map them by dragging and dropping so let's search for comment so let's map comment to comment and then what we have we have a short description so let's map short description to short description and then let's map state to state uh, okay it is integer and I guess I gave it as string no problem we will send it as number so we are done with this and what we want later on is uh, whatever output comes back we just transform it and send it back as L O A D. hopefully my spellings are all over the place today so this is the API and one thing I want to change is I want to change it to okay it doesn't matter it can be post so let's try to run it and see hopefully it will work you can put a logger also here and see what comes back let's put a logger so we're done with this now let's run it and see so in the meantime I will start my postman also I will be sending my request using postman and uh, behind my application is getting started okay postman is saying so many things let's take a post request to localhost 8081 and it was I think if I remember correctly we gave some service now demo and let's give in body okay this one sorry raw data and then i put this okay oh my god okay so we are done our application is deployed so let's test it Okay, so we got an exception. So I found the problem. I had uh, selected wrong header here. And now, so this is my insert response, which is coming back. And I should have changed it to Java. It is in Java. I should have changed it to application JSON. Start it and run project again. And anyway, till then, let's check if our incident is created. So I go to my instance and I go to incidents, and I don't see. Oh, okay, let's go to all. So once again. Our description is up or down. I should search for this. Let's filter. 
on short description and contains server down so we have server down instant here so this was earlier I created and this is a new one and if I go here so this is my response system ID and the incident number so we are able to integrate uh, service now with uh, MuleSoft so thank you for watching and I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel and do tell me what other videos you want to see Thank you so much.